Oh man, Company of Heroes 3, huh? <gasps> I didn't expect to be making three videos on this game, but I feel like there's some stuff we just need to talk about. So, I wanted to put this out there. And I mean, it's in the title, right? Th three? Company of Heroes? Th 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 never mind. Look, the main reason I wanted to make this video in the first place was because of the disparity between reviews of Company of Heroes 3 across critics and Steam users. And to a lesser extent, the general online discourse I've read in YouTube comments, on Reddit, and similar wretched hives of scum and villainy. Plus, Relics released a patch that includes a new pass over the audio mix in the last couple of days, so it'll be good to see if that's changed anything for the better. So I guess a good place to start here are the critic reviews, which are for the most part pretty positive. Say what you will about big sites like IGN and PC Gamer, but I do think their scores and coverage remain relevant in the age of YouTube reviewers and capital G armchair gamer journalists. I'm allowed to say that because I'm talking about myself. On Open Critic, it's sitting at a strong 80% average with an 84% recommendation rate, and these are great scores. And just looking over them here, you wouldn't think that there were any significant issues. Which is exactly what I was thinking when I uploaded my review. I tend to not look at other reviews in depth when I'm making my own, I know some people do, I don't. Neither are inherently good or bad, it's just how I roll. But regardless, I was uploading my video to YouTube, and since I got my code quite late, all the main sites had long since published their coverage. So I thought I'd have a look and see where everyone else sat. And these scores basically confirmed my opinion for me. Sweet, I thought. We're all on the same page. COH3 is a great game, no dramas. Bruh. Oh my god! I was surprised, shocked even. How could this be? Had some terrible piracy solution been turned on with the public release? Was a greedy online store activated at the last minute after reviewers had published their content? Uh, well, no, it wasn't anything that fun. In fact, it was just criticism of the game. And as far as I can tell, the issues that people are having fall into four main categories. One, the game is super buggy. Two, the graphics are bad and a downgrade from earlier games. Three, the sound is bad and a downgrade from earlier games. And four, the campaign and content aren't as fleshed out as people expected. Oh, and the UI is bad. Five, five, there's five. For those who haven't watched my earlier review on the game, I was positive on it. And what's interesting is that, like we've seen, not only were the critic reviews positive, but the like to dislike ratio on my video is really nothing out of the ordinary. Which indicates to me that most people are at least kind of on board, or at least on the same page. Or they can just see where I'm coming from. But man, the comments, and the Steam reviews, these are very much not in the game's favour. When I first saw the Steam reviews, they were sitting at around the mid 50s, and it has been ticking up a bit since then. It's sitting around the low 60s now, so we'll have to see what happens. So, I'm going to go through the five categories, give my thoughts, and see if we can't reach some sort of understanding here. Starting at the top, the bugs. This is probably the easiest thing for us to cover, because all I can really do is speak to my own experience, which, as I said in my review, was pretty much flawless. I only had a couple of super minor things which I would expect from any game. Maybe I just got lucky, but it seems like there's a lot of Steam reviews claiming otherwise, so your mileage may vary. Next are the graphics, likely the biggest pain point for a lot of people out there. And yes, I get what they mean, sort of, especially when you put Company of Heroes 3 up besides the original two games, like I did in my comparison. I don't know, it's just, it's just missing something, like it's too washed out. Well, there's not enough contrast. It's like it's missing a visual pass or something. It's more apparent on certain maps. I think it's more obvious in like the more foresty maps where the desert maps aren't quite so affected. Like some look super obvious and there are others that look great, to be honest. Overall, I still do think the graphics are more than acceptable, good even, but it could use perhaps another graphics pass to boost its overall style. This is what I was able to do just inside of DaVinci Resolve, Obviously not in-game, but, you know, it's something. And this is what another player has done with Reshade, which is in-game. So I do think there's a possibility that Relic can implement something similar at some point. One other thing are the effects, which are a bit less impressive than earlier games, especially Company of Heroes 2, which I think has some of the best vehicle explosions in all of gaming. Is it realistic that every vehicle explodes like there's 600 pounds of petroleum jelly inside of it? 
Mm, no, probably not. But it does look a lot cooler than COH3's versions, which are maybe a little bit more true to life, but don't provide as many moments that make you exclaim, Oh shit yeah! And thrusting your pelvis at your TV. Sorry, this is an extremely niche reference. Go watch this video if you haven't. In a similar vein, sound is also being picked apart. And here's probably where I agree with the criticism the most. It's not that the sound quality is bad, I don't think so, anyway, I actually reckon it's quite good. But the problem comes with the mix. Remember when you went to go see Tenet, and everyone was really quiet but the music was extremely loud? It's just a bit like that. Some things are just too loud, voice lines are the main problem, and others are just too quiet, like machine gun fire, and they just don't pack the punch that they used to. Now, personally, I didn't see this as enough of a problem to make a point about it in my review, but I do think it's something Relic could improve upon down the line. Which they did, actually. Funnily enough, just as I was finishing off this script a couple of days ago. So, here's a comparison from some combat from the release build to one I recorded just now. And you can decide for yourself if you think it's been improved. Now, there's more than a few complaints about the game's content, or apparent lack thereof, and man, I really don't get this one. Sure, the main campaign itself is a bit lackluster in terms of its replay value and overworld mechanics, but no one can argue against its length or the amount of stuff to do in it. Alongside it, there's the 8 mission narrative campaign that, while weaker than previous COH campaigns, is still pretty good. Plus, there's skirmish and multiplayer, of course, with quite a few maps and four unique factions. Perhaps looking at COH2 as it is right now, basically 10 years after it's come out, has given people the idea that COH3 is bare bones. And yeah, I guess I do understand that, but do you remember COH1 and 2 when they came out, with two factions, one campaign, skirmish, that's it? Maybe some scenarios? I think people might have their rose-tinted goggles on with this one, but, you know, convince me otherwise in the comments if you can. Alright, lastly, UI. Now, honestly, I do think this one is a bit of a nothing burger. I see where people are coming from, I guess, with the complaints being that it's too simple and comes across as unfinished, but I really never got that impression. To me, it's functional, and that's really what matters. I have read a few scattered reports of elements being just straight up broken, with like text running off the screen and that kind of stuff, but like the bugs, I can only speak to my experience, and on that front, it's been smooth sailing. Now beyond those things, there are a couple of little things I wanted to mention that had slipped my mind in the review. One thing I've seen around a bit is the camera zoom. Now I was going to mention this, but again I forgot. I think the field of view is a little too narrow, and apparently a lot of you do too, so hopefully this can be updated down the line. Maybe just zoomed out 20% or so would be better. Another is the lack of an option to explore the map after the game ends. Not a big deal, but it's honestly just a bit of a bizarre mission since the last game's had it, and I feel like this could be an easy W for Relic. And lastly, this. Yes, there is a store, and I forgot to mention it, but only because you can't actually get into it. Still, right now, it remains closed. I'm a little worried of what may be hiding behind the door here, but we'll just have to wait and see. There was a pre-order bonus for some different unit skins, so I expect we'll see some more of those. I wouldn't be surprised if maybe new faction battle groups end up in there, or maybe like campaign missions, fully fledged DLC, I really don't know. If it's that egregious, I'll update you guys, but fingers crossed it's nothing too crazy. Hopefully this is the last Company of Heroes 3 video that I need to make. I've got a lot of other things to do, home board games to review, etc, so I'm looking forward to cracking on with that. Despite the complaints, my opinion that comes alongside my review still stands. I do think Company of Heroes 3 is fantastic, and I can't wait to see it thrive. I still remember back when everyone hated Company of Heroes 2 when it came out, 
And that's like one of the top three or five played RTSs of the past few years. So we'll see what happens. That is, of course, unless Relic takes it out the back like it did a certain other three call. There's no way that that happens again, right? Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Especially big thanks to my patrons and YouTube members who keep the lights on around here. If you'd like to join, you can do so for just a dollar a month. That'll give you access to the Discord as well as a few other things if you want to go up a tier. And in the Discord, we chat about games, we play games, we're playing uh, Red Alert 2 and Command and Conquer 3 tomorrow, so that's going to be pretty sick. So if you'd like to take part in that, then that's what you got to do. Okay, I'm going to try and do it all in one breath. Okay, so thanks to Eero, Krizzy218, George Rain, Jack Walsh, Nutty Jawa, Overlord Jeebus, T Edits, Crispy Robo Chicken, XV204, Benjamin Howard, Dakayo, David Dabolli, Wintendo, Bad Ghosts, Sean Weber, Johnny Woof, Strategia and Ultima, and Eric Lamon. Oh god, I'm so sorry I've butchered your name. Thank you, Eric. That was easy, I'm still on the one breath, so if you want to make me lose my breath faster, well, you gotta sign up to the Patreon. So thanks again very much for watching, and I will catch you all next time.